and all of the students have visited Angkor before? No, or, or, we are oh, really? all first time come to Angkor. Ah, okay, ah. okay. So how do you feel about the temple? Yeah. Uh, yeah, really nice because I'm teaching history in Malaysia. <laughs> we never been the Angkor. Yeah. Really now today we are here. We are here and it's ah, a bit raining see, right now. And, <laughs> and then we say, oh, yeah. this is Angkor. What? How amazing the yeah. uh, heritage, the culture here. Yeah. Uh, this is what we we're learning from the uh, history. We only from books. We never step in here. So yeah. this is our first time. Say, wow, amazing. Good morning, ma'am, uh, and I thank you for granting uh, me the interview uh, for the access to interview this morning in front of Angkor Wat. You know, where more than 200 students from ASEAN, Korea, and China are converging. You know, culturally and also academically. So, ma'am, uh, you are from you are a teacher from Indonesia, yes, and you uh, you lead a team of uh, six students yes. from Indonesia to Cambodia today. So, uh, my first question, my, my first question is that. Um, you know, back back in their country, because uh, this event focuses on you know uh, climate change. So, what do they learn in in their country about climate change before they come here? Yes, uh, they have uh, pre for, uh, prepared for the three months uh, before. Oh. They they uh, they they are selected from the all student in our country from the event with the science center in, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, so the science center. Uh, challenge them to make a uh, sub of problem about the climate change. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, two group from that event, and after that, uh, we have two group from Jakarta and Surabaya in Indonesia that from the different province. Okay, uh, okay. So uh, I lead in uh, my team from Jakarta. After the event, we prepare students very well with the lecturer from the university. Mm -hmm. uh, for our school, we collab uh, collaborate with the uh, State Jakarta University and Gajah Mada University in Yogyakarta. The lecturer prepares students very well in the laboratory skill and lecture with a uh, uh, university and they practice at a laboratory uh, and they making a video they own making a video about the climate change uh, and the video after this event will be uh, uh, collaborate with the education department in Indonesia to share the issue uh, how to solve the problem about the climate change especially in Indonesia okay in Malaysia actually we have a lot of STEM pro, uh, competitions mm. so uh, last year we have joined uh, FISTEM or I said, uh, so we are doing a project about uh, water and then the oh. sanit clear sanitizing. So our project is like uh, more suitable for this uh, APS, this climate change. So we be selected to join for this program. So, so there, there, there has been a competition about water yes, we, already in Malaysia? Yes, we uh, have a competition in Malaysia, then only we selected be, be here. Uh, yes, for the process, I think it means that the state team, they are a process that, um, that recruitment. But I think that for, like, we choose from the student from Phnom Penh and Batambong. So maybe uh, the student, they have to apply to that, um, to that event and then the state select them. It, it's not like to, uh, okay, the province or the Phnom Penh is prioritized uh, student that they are choose. No, it's not it's just like the student need to apply for the event yes and then the state will select uh, them whether okay they are quali uh, qualified to join or not yes yeah sure yeah. Uh, we select a student based on their ability they are mm -hmm. interested in science they have they're, they're, they're pa very passionate not only in science but also to you know come up with different solutions for the global problems because mm -hmm. at school we have a chance to actually in introduce them not really a lot but we start to try to introduce them different uh, UN SDG, the Sustainable mm. Development Goals from yes, UN, yes. the 17 goals. And uh, I think that's the initial step for them to start understand what are the challenges that their generation need to solve, need to deal mm -hmm. with. And uh, by applying science knowledge in uh, uh, in combination with creative ideas, they we hope that when they work together, they will discuss ideas and, and solutions and and also some practical activities that they can implement to turn the idea in reality, to turn the idea into solid products that can actually solve one of the uh, challenges that they are facing. Let's say one of the group of uh, well, the the one group yep. from our student chose the um, 
the topic of how to tackle plastic pollution, oh, okay. which I really, I'm really proud of them. They try to find an alternative materials mm -hmm. to replace plastic wrapped. Uh, to be honest, because they are just student, their solution is not the best one yet. Yep, but, yeah, I'm but they're still learning, of yes, course. Yes. I'm glad that they tried something and they know that they can make change by doing so. It's, it's like a hope, a hope for gen their generation. And especially when we, uh, some of the students come from public school, mm -hmm. we have to say that they don't actually have that much room within the curriculum to do mm. practical projects like that. So this is a golden chance for them to know that they actually can contribute their part to the global issues. Yes, ma'am, but how many students were competing, you know, in order to get the final six students? Yes, uh, they're very big uh, group. Uh, the Science Center in Indonesia uh, challenged uh, this event in all the students in Indonesia. I think it's a uh, 200 group. One group is three students. So uh, that's fairly selected uh, from uh, all the students in Indonesia. So. It's very uh, good, the represent, uh, representative uh, student in Indonesia. And also Indonesia. quite competitive before yes, getting yes, here. Yes, they, yeah. they have a good skill before they uh, prepare for this event. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, what, what did they learn or what did they prepare for the presentation which will happen tomorrow since Malaysia? Okay, so if Malaysia is, because they are, now it's mixed around, right, yep, the yep. students. So I, uh, I will already uh, ask all my team, teams members, so they are doing uh, different topics all regarding the water management so we are and I will I also told my students that every country have their solutions for the water management mm. it's different with others countries so in, even in Malaysia also we have water management system also so therefore uh, we try to get it uh, whatever is suitable with the global global solutions mm -hmm. like we have to do for uh, main like we most we pointed is the individual practice because a, a small responsibility for the individuals can contribute a big uh, solutions for the environment and the global. Uh, normally, so we already we almost practice that we don't use pl plastic. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, I mean, what is the skill that the student needs to have in order to to reach this uh, level? Uh, I think for the skill. The thing, the first one is they have to, uh, they need to speak English because like as you know that we come here like uh, Asian, plus, uh, Asian plus three, so yes, they have to speak, uh, can speak English well and more uh, especially they have to like interested in science. Uh, as as uh, uh, first, I, I do uh, I forget to inform you that like we have a, a video to submit the study as well. So the student have to find the topics and related to the theme that they are uh, um, offer for us. So the theme is raising up again climate change. So the topic they have to find um, the topic that related to it. So like as my student, they um, maybe they have a topic. Um, it was about like they try to create more greenhouse using solars and try not to cutting the tree. So like, yes, it can reduce the climate change. Yes. Sure. Uh, well, t at first they were very confused. Okay. Like I, I guess, like any other student, yeah, when yeah, whenever they get a like a topic that they need yeah. to work about, they were under a lot of pressure how to do their best, mm -hmm. and also they time to time uh, they started at the point where they think that no, we couldn't actually do anything. That's way too much for us. Mm -hmm. Is is um, we haven't done anything like that before. But then I, I guided them. I told them that. Um, Let's say even at the end of the of the experiment, mm -hmm. the the final product didn't come out as to what you expected. I think you you still learned a lot mm -hmm. uh, in a, a way, way because when you change different uh, materials, when you change the the, the chemistry formula, yeah, yeah. yeah, you already had different products, and then yeah. that's the way they learn. So. This is the thing we uh, we can actually use a lab, mm -hmm. and then the student one of the stu student do the experiment, the other hold the camera and and try to record all the footages, oh, okay. and then at the end we try to combine those footages into a video. Um, well, due to the uh, very limited time, it's not actually the best that we want mm -hmm. yet, but still we tried our you know our best at that time. But it's more like a, a journey, not yes. only about the destination. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah we, we will ask them, okay, what is your topic? So mm. so what is your problems? So what is your solutions? And we almost we have our because in Malaysia we have joined our competitions, so we have our formats. So mm. we are saying okay you're using the okay YC formats, you're using five W one H to overcome the solutions 
you're getting, okay, what is your target, what is your objections? Uh, Yes, ma'am. And also, you know, they have been learning quite, you know, a lot for the, yeah, the, for the you know, yeah. for the for the beginning, uh, the first years. two days. Yes. And uh, you know, yesterday and today, they they just come to you know to to the scenery, to the nature and culture. Do you think that these two days will you know like uh, soften their stress down compared to the last uh, beginning two days? <laughs> uh, I think yesterday they stress a bit uh, because they are okay. doing. They want to rush for the poster, so we said, mm. oh, we don't need to rush. Uh, like, we told them no need to rest. Uh, you need to rest. You no need to stress about it because you have you have to do your time management. Yep. I think I say I believe uh, that uh, always we giving our positive to our students. That believe yourself, you can do it well. Yes. Doesn't matter. Whatever you can do, just do it. Mm -hmm. This is what always we convince our students when in the international competition. Say okay, don't worry. You have ours. We are in one team. So doesn't matter what. If you have any problem, just uh, go through our team. Then we will have to solve it. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. But I think they learned a lot because our student is very like excited when doing the uh, JAR okay. test yeah. and going to the Claire because we 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 didn't do this in Malaysia the, for the Claire arts oh, everything yeah. uh, and the water management is very, totally different in be uh, in our country. Mm. So they gain a lot of experience and knowledge from this event. It's very good. I think it's uh, continuous in follow up, you're doing the uh, more keeping for this event is very good for the young scientists. Not to mention even mm -hmm. like uh, when, when it comes to teamwork, I think it's normal everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it comes to teamwork, they come from different schools, so they need to learn to work with each other first. They got into conflict often, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't agree with each other's ideas, but then I'm glad that they did at the end. They all come up with the, the one common goal and then they can start learn how to talk to each other in, in a way that they can promote communication and then you know not to just um, refuse the other people's ideas. But do they come all across uh, Vietnam or just you know uh, like one city only? Um, our students from, from this year they actually mm -hmm. only come from Hanoi. Okay yeah. okay mm. and uh, teacher like uh, you know when they come here they, they get to you know like a uh, mix between other yes. uh, students so mm. at first uh, is it easy for them and you know for the past two days <laughs> you know do they get like a faster in yeah, India? I see, yeah I see I yeah. see oh, well like I mentioned before mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to teamwork no matter how you if even when you share mm -hmm. the nationality when you understand the language it's mm -hmm. still difficult yeah. so I, I, I know I knew that my student they were struggling at first mm -hmm. try to find the common ground especially from people from people of different culture and at the point I actually had to talk to them Mm -hmm. yes. um, the, they 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 were in some kind of disagreement, not not say not saying conflict, but disagreement, yep. and they find it difficult to resolve. So yep, yep. they talk. It's good that they talk to me. Mm -hmm. Then I just um, talked, and I make sure they understand that probably your expectations is different from your friend's expectations. Mm -hmm. So the point is that we we should bear in mind that we come from different cultures mm -hmm. and then because of those differences our our ideas could be a different a bit different. And we need compromise yes. yeah, at the and end of the yeah. day. And, and it's just because he like or the other member didn't live up to your expectation it doesn't mean that they have anything to do with you personally mm -hmm, it's just mm -hmm. because this is the way it is and you guys need to work to meet each other in the in the middle point that's yes, it teacher. yeah and i think they, they kind of get it at mm -hmm. the end um i heard some good news yesterday last night after the prep talk and then my student talked to me and said that okay teacher we actually can resolve the the mm. the, the little disagreement in our group so they already solved their own problem before going to you uh, well actually okay. after talking to to me ah, okay, they, okay. They, they they find another way to mm -hmm. approach the problem to see the problem wow, okay. at first it was like no i feel I feel like he didn't listen to me <laughs> and I was yeah. like no it's not like he didn't mm -hmm. listen to you it's just like he didn't see his his viewpoint mm -hmm. the way he he see it mm -hmm. it's like we have different perspective that's it I'm trying to to tell her so but it's good that they can start to see that just because we are different um, doesn't mean that we can't work together we still can find a common voice there and uh, teacher you mentioned that uh, the video that needs to be done beforehand you know, the video has to be created by the student? 
So, so what do you mean created by the student? Like they shoot their own footages and they do their own editing, something like that? Yes, for the whole video, they have to cutting it by themselves to okay. prepare the script. But for us, on a teacher, we just like check the script whether okay, it is correct or not. It's, it should be like that or not. And then we just uh, only revise a bit for them. And then they are all processed on their own. So uh, what what do you revise like uh, maybe you know is there any you know like uh, some um, you know like for example mistake that they do something like that For example about the greenhouse as our country right now so I will ask them okay kid how about greenhouse are you sure that in our country we can um, like to create that those kind of greenhouse is it possible and then they just yes teacher they can like uh, they have like one two three of step that they are processed on their projects okay, yes. so it's like a fact check them yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, you have reference or not? Mm-hmm. You have uh, like to, okay, this is problem. So you have solution for them or not? Yes. Yesterday, we went to the water treatment plant in uh-huh. Chiriu. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you know, they come here. In a moment, they will plant trees. Mm. So visiting the water treatment plant and planting trees, based on your perspective, do you see the correlation that will, you know, contribute to their academic progress? After after this event, mm, of course. Well, it was like the, actually I was quite um, how to say I really wish I could join them to the water treatment, oh, okay, okay. but because we had uh, different another schedule, yeah different yeah. schedule. But when I talked to my student after the trip, they said that it was an eye-opening opportunity for them to actually see something uh, like a real yeah, application yeah, of how water is purified during mm-hmm. different processes. Well, basically at school, probably they just saw it on papers, diagrams, yeah, diagrams, yep. and then. Um, he, one of the students in my group, he was so excited showing me all the photos. Okay, teacher, I found that they do this way, that way. And then uh, I, I can see the excitement in the way she, he, he talked to me about the process. Mm-hmm. And then for today, uh, when it comes to the water, I mean the tree planting, mm-hmm. um, it's also, I think it's, on a, it's also another practical activity mm-hmm. for them to see the correlation, the, the connection yep. between like whether we, uh, we need to protect our water source mm-hmm. and also to maintain the, the uh, forest, the forest yeah. Yeah, at the same time. And yes. also the effect of having pure water, having clean water to our daily lives as well. Yes, ma'am. And for tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow's presentation, how do you expect them to do? <laughs> uh, I think so far uh, about the lecture in here, they uh, know about the material mm-hmm. and in the laboratory skill, uh, they know about uh, that jar, jar test, something like that. Yes, uh, he practiced well in Indonesia and they was preferred to in the video. But I think uh, I thought to my student, it's not about a competition, but in this event, she must be collaborate, communicate with the other uh, friends because they are not in the same group again in here. Yeah, they are, they are mixed uh, together. They're mixed yes, together. Yes. So the uh, important things is how to communication collaboration make a friendship with mm. each other it's more important more than the, about the competition I think it's uh, uh, the yes, aims of this Asian APTJ so yes ma'am uh, normally yeah. we we really expect that we can get uh, awards yeah. to bring back to our Malaysians but if the students already try their best even they didn't get any awards for me they are already the top at least they try. They yeah, try, yeah. yeah. At least we already we already in the international level. Yeah. If they don't have any award, is uh, for me it's okay. But okay. I hopefully they can get award. <laughs> so it's more better. <laughs> I can bring achievement back to Malaysia. And do you expect uh, to get good number tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. Some of my students they are very competitive. They mm. they came here and wish that they could win the the. The prize, yeah. but again, um, I also assure them that prize is just like uh, the award at the end. Yep. The more important part is what you learn from your friends mm, and on the way. The problem that you solve yes. along the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, still, we aim for something, but again, we appreciate the journey. And all of the students have visited Angkor before? No, or, or, we oh, are really? all first time come to Angkor. Ah, okay, ah. okay. So how do you feel about the temple? Yeah. Uh, yeah, very really nice because I'm teaching history in Malaysia. We never been the uncle. Yeah. Really, now today we are here. We are here, and it's uh, a bit raining right now. And, uh, <laughs> and then we say, "Oh, yeah. this is uncle. What? How amazing the yeah. uh, heritage, the culture here. Yeah. Uh, this is what we we're learning from the uh, 
it's history. We only from books. We don't step in here. So yeah. this is our first time. Say, wow, amazing. Oh, uh, before okay. I come in 2006 for the robotic competition, oh, this okay, is okay. the second. But okay. uh, uh, about the FPTJSO, I uh, go join in FPTJSO since uh, 212. 2012. Oh, yes. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. And uh, just uh, like a uh, you know simple question, like what do you think about Angkor Wat? Because uh, you have like Buddha Badu temple. Yeah, in, in yeah, yeah. Very similar and and basically uh, similar in timeline also. Yeah, for me, uh, in, uh, especially I'm very excited to come here because before I am going to Phnom Penh, uh, this is the first time I come to uh, Sim Reap. Okay. I'm very excited because uh, I think uh, even the same, like uh, the uh, they have the different history, yes, right? Different. Yeah, and it's very interesting uh, to me to learn about that. And especially about the water system in here. Oh. It's very different. <laughs> like we visit the Chiriu, water yeah. treatment yesterday yes, also. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's my interest. Yes.